Critics unburden themselves on Michael Bay's new film, but American audiences rewarded it with over $200 million. We're going to discuss what the new Transformers movie has in store for the 12 people out there that didn't see it in the loop. Joining me to help us make sense of it all, senior editor for Chud.com, Devin Faraci is here, and <laughs> contributor to Cinematical.com, Todd Gilchrist joins us as well. How are you guys? All right. Uh, so the viewers at home know uh, Devin violently, violently hated this film um, in a way that you still had like 140 characters left on your Twitter review that said it was complete S-bomb, yes. um, which was very nice. Uh, Todd, you defended the film. You yeah. actually, you, you enjoyed it. So I, I'd like to start with you to set this up. I mean... Uh, Two hundred million dollars, big, big opening weekend. Obviously, some people saw this. Some people liked it. Is is bigger better? I mean, is, is Transformers two? What, what? Why did you enjoy this film? Well, I don't know if bigger is necessarily better, but I would absolutely say that more is more is more in Hollywood. And uh, I think sequels, by nature, uh, have to be bigger than their predecessor. Right. And I think this movie absolutely was. Um, I mean, how often do you get to see a movie in which, uh, if you shoot it in IMAX, one of the characters is actually shot to scale? I mean, <laughs> as Optimus Prime was. Right. Um, but that said, I mean, I, I do think that um, while, while the entire movie is certainly not necessarily more sophisticated than its predecessor, I think that you look at um, uh, the cinematography and, uh, you know, even, even if, if the difference is two-second shots versus five-second shots, the, the cinematography of this movie is, I think, vastly better. I couldn't necessarily right. follow the end uh, of the action in the original Transformers, but I could follow it much more easily. So, my, yeah, Michael Bay does deserve a medal for being able to hold onto a shot for three extra seconds in this film. I will <laughs> yeah. give him that. That yeah. is that is true. But <laughs> but Devin, your review was uh, was was scathing to say the least. Uh, okay. um, what what did you think? You what was the biggest flaw for you? Then? I, how do you make a two and a half hour robot movie so boring? It's so goddamn boring. And I was just I was just watching it. I, I, the whole middle section is about forty five minutes of just nonsense. People running around the desert, uh, going to the Smithsonian, getting information dumps from giant robots. Who cares? I want to see robots hitting each other, and I would like to know which robot is hitting which robot. I'm picky, I know, but I would like to know right. if it's a bad guy <laughs> hitting a good guy or what the hell is happening. Did you, I mean, what, yeah, uh, you know, I, I thought, you know, the, 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 opening, the opening sequence, when you tell me giant robots punching buildings and crapping on highways and just everything's going to explode, I say yes, sign me up, and twice. But I did, I did find that at times that... I, I wondered if Michael Bay knew what he was going to be filming. I, I felt like he was just kind of leaving the camera there, and he's going to let the CG guys figure that out. Didn't have a problem with that? Uh, well, I mean, I feel like this movie, for better or for worse, is essentially Michael Bay's idea of one-upping, like, every event movie of the last, like, 20 years. Like, imagine the Dark Knight scene in Hong Kong, but with Transformers. Or Indiana right. Jones, but instead of, uh, you know, just, just a guy with a bullwhip, there's, right. like, a bunch of robots fighting. Or Star Wars, except instead of uh, Jar Jar, we'll put these two racist robots in the film and let them talk to each other. Now, actually, I don't, I don't necessarily know if the robots were racist. Again, I, I didn't hang out for the entire film. I can't, but the Internet certainly has their opinions. Devin, did you think there was any racism going on with these? Well, the robots aren't racist because they're CGI creations, but the people who did the robots might very well be racist. Do it you, is ridiculous. Do you, do you feel it's that minstrelry. way? I mean, it's, it's horrible. If, you know, it's like, it's like Ted Danson in blackface times ten. I mean, it's ridiculous. So. Yes. But if there was a robotic whoopee in there, all would be forgiven. It would be okay. If they were sleeping with a black robot, like with Jazz from the first <laughs> film, it would be okay. But right. since they're not. Todd, is that, as an aside, these, these two robots, I mean, uh, you enjoyed the film. Did you take, did you take offense or did you, were you concerned at all with, with their appearance? Uh, well, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with Devin that, that I think that they potentially could be racist mm -hmm. caricatures. But uh, I do think that, in general, um, the, the, the criticism that the characters are superficial or thinly drawn only matters if you think this is actually a movie about human beings or real characters. I mean, the truth is it's a sequel to a movie that was created based on a toy line. And uh, its entire reason for existence is to be gigantic spectacle. Right. And, and I don't think Michael Bay was ever interested in creating believable or truthful characters to begin with. And $200 million. Oh. So say what you want. Look at the Rotten Tomatoes, oh. the Metascore, all you want. People want to see yeah. giant truck nuts scaling up a pyramid. <laughs> That's right. what they want. Well, so I'm, I'm okay with that. But again, it's just that people are willing to accept the worst version of that. That's the thing. This isn't even a good version of giant truck nuts. This isn't a good version of robots punching each other. This is a boring, boring, terrible version of that. Uh, I don't understand why, why people are, are giving their money to this garbage. Well, Paramount's exit polls, which, I mean, you've got to take it with a grain of salt. It's their exit polls. But they show that 91% of the audience thought the film was as good as or better than the first Transformers film. Uh, are, are, are critics just too jaded then, Todd? Is that is that what's happening here? That, that 
Oh, I don't think so at all. I mean, I think that even amongst summer blockbusters, there are different kinds of blockbusters. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I think that Transformers is, is, is nothing like Dark Knight, nor is it trying to be. Um, I think that because critics have the opportunity slash responsibility to see these big summer movies, they may or may not even have an appetite for them to begin with. And so, therefore, they go into it with the normal expectations that they want to see something that's more substantive or, or more sophisticated. And uh, while this movie is, uh, is, is not emotionally, again, substantive, I do think that it's very technically sophisticated. And I think that, um, I think that as, as, a, as a result, like, you know, a lot of critics are going to not like that because they think it's just escapist. But right. the movie's, again, its, its entire reason for existence is to be pure and, I even say, idiotic escapism. The truth is that Paramount probably put Rohypnol in the, in the Mr. Pim, <laughs> and that's why they got these kind of results. That's Pim. what it is, yeah. So that, that's where the results came That from. actually, that, that would explain a lot about my experience at the film. <laughs> uh, but Devin, uh, real quick, because we're out of time, uh, 200 million, uh, that, that's, that's a big number for yeah, its opener. Are, are we going to see a dramatic drop-off in, in the coming weeks as people tell their friends maybe you don't want this version of Truck Nuts? No, or think, are we going to get more of that? I think it's sad, but I think the, pu the, the buzz is fairly positive. It's sort of weird. I don't get it. I feel out of touch. I'm an old man now, but people kind of like this crap. It's all right. Turn in the nerd card. It's time. <laughs> everybody, everybody has an awakening. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Right. Keep it in the loop. We appreciate it. Still ahead, everybody, even more on the tag of the show. Stick around.